Well, good Friday the 13th. This is Pastor Hayton with the Lower Lights Devotional. Coming down to the end of another week here. And I would just like to, once again, just spend a few minutes with you if you uh, care to hear me out. I mentioned Good Friday the 13th. I hope that should misfortune uh, fall across your path today that you won't blame it on Friday the 13th. Uh, if the Lord should allow misfortune to come into your life for some reason to accomplish His purpose, well, it's not anything to do with today. Our steps are ordered by the Lord. And I don't believe that uh, any misfortune that should come our way has anything to do with Friday the 13th. I'm not too sure the origin of that superstition, but anyway, uh, I hope, hope everything goes well for you today. Certainly pray no misfortune will come across your path, but we never know, do we? Could happen on Saturday the 14th. Happened to a lot of people on Thursday the, the 12th. So I do believe that uh, this is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, just trust in Him and His promises to watch over us and to keep us throughout another day. I was thinking that a little while ago, I've been spending some time in my study this morning, and I love this place. I appreciate so much the great step of faith that our congregation took few years ago to build a, an addition onto our sanctuary, which included a very spacious and beautiful pastor study. Really the first really nice pastor study that I've ever had. I've had uh, rooms in the basement. I've had uh, corners in my home. I had a little study in the basement of another church that I pastored that was a, a nice study, but it was so small and and no natural light whatsoever, and and I just appreciate my beautiful study where I can come and prepare to do what is my passion, and that is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I love sitting here and working on a sermon. I've often said I enjoy working on a sermon just about as much as I enjoy preaching a sermon. And so I'm thankful that here on this Friday the 13th that I have the good fortune to be here preparing for another weekend of ministry, trusting God to help us and to bless us as we get the mind of the Lord and deliver our hearts to the congregation on Sunday. I mentioned the other day we never know when someone's going to hear the last message that they will ever hear. And when we heard of the sudden death of one of our dear gentlemen in the church this past week, immediately my mind went back to what did I preach the last time he was in church? Was I faithful to his soul? I trust that I was because I always try to do my best in finding the mind of God, and I believe that's important. I, I was walking to church one Sunday night many years ago down in Alabama. We lived uh, out on our church campground a little ways from the little village where the church was. And many times I would walk along the highway and make my way over to the church early on a Sunday evening. And one time I was walking along and like a lot of times, I, I really wasn't just real sure of my message. I, I think a lot of we preachers are kind of guilty of, of focusing on Sunday morning and oftentimes Sunday evening is neglected until Sunday afternoon. Not a good practice, not one that I recommend, but it happens. And, and I thought, well, I wonder what the people would like to hear tonight. And immediately the Holy Spirit rebuked me, said it's not what they want to hear, but it's what, what I want them to hear. And I do believe that God will give wisdom, that God will uh, give just the message that He wants the people. He knows what the congregation is going to be. He knows what the needs of that congregation are. He knows the groundwork that he has done in preparing hearts for that Sunday morning or Sunday night, and God will give divine wisdom. Well, just a few remarks off the cuff this morning. I've got a lot on my mind, and so I just wanted to just kind of talk a little bit uh, with you, just like we were maybe kind of visiting. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to fulfill the passion of our heart, and that is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Pray that Thou will bless us, dear Lord, as we put the final touches on our uh, message for Sunday. May it go out and touch hearts, and, and uh, you know that You gave us the promise that Your Word would not return unto You void, but it would accomplish that which You had purposed it to do. 
So bless your preachers everywhere that are preparing for the ministry on Sunday. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Light's devotional. Take care.